John was so cute that he's one of those guys, Kuti, should you have a child with him and the child is ugly, you are to blame. It's not him. He's done his part. <laughs> I'm Mel. To the new and returning subscribers, welcome, welcome, welcome. Mauya, happy 2021. It's always lovely to see you again. To those who are new around here, please feel free to look around, check out the other videos on the channel. And if this is your sort of vibe, click the subscribe button below and join the family. Remember guys, I leave all my social media details in the description box below. Feel free to connect with me anytime. So today I just want to have a quick chat about relationship bad behavior and this topic um, is inspired by a video that I saw from the impressive channel she was talking about Iggy Azalea and her father's child I don't know him or his music I'll leave his name here and some issue that they have in some Twitter beef where she's going back and forth with him and his side chick right so that's not what we're talking about we really don't delve into celebrity lives on this channel but i thought for the purpose of this video to be good to use this situation as an illustration to some real life relationship bad behavior so just to summarize what's going on with miss iggy she is um having open beef on the internet with her father's child's side chick and i noticed something peculiar during all of her interactions or her rants she was directing a lot of energy towards this other woman as opposed to ex-boyfriend. I don't know what the situation is there. And this reminds me of a lot of situations that I've seen, even here in Zimbabwe, where when women have got conflict with their partner, let's say they've been cheated on, they've been wronged in some manner, and there's another woman involved, all the venom, all the rage gets misdirected not to the partner with whom they're in relationship but to the other person this brings to mind a story that made the rounds on social media last year or the year before that about um, a young girl at the use it who was dating someone's husband so what the wife to this husband did is she got all her girlfriends together they went to the university campus and started beef basically they repossessed the car that her husband had given the young girl and they really humiliated her in front of people taking a video, you know, cutting her down to size and all that. It was, it was a hot mess. Let me say this first uh, quickly before the moral police jump into this conversation. I do not condone cheating at all. It's not a good practice, not a good habit and it's unfair on the people involved in the relationship, right? With that said, I do not agree with this thing of um, humiliating other women. Listen, uh, that's not on. In my humble opinion, as women, there are two things that we need to do. We need to woman up, one, and two, be allies to other women. What do I mean by woman up? If I were to discover that my partner is cheating on me, and I happen to have gone through his phone and found out who the girl is, it's not for me to go out there and attack the other woman. I have no business humiliating her, putting her on blast in front of people. No, I'm not in relationship with that woman. The person I'm supposed to step up to and give that beast energy to, if that's how I want to approach the conversation, is my partner. That's all part and parcel of womaning up. Being able to have the correct conversation with the correct person, directing your anger, your energy, everything that you need to say to the right person. So that's one. Two, being allies to other women. Listen, it's hard enough being a woman. And being an ally to another woman means that we do not deliberately break each other down. We do not deliberately bring shame on each other. So that applies twofold. One, don't consciously date someone's partner. It's not good. You're hurting another woman. The other layer is that don't attack another woman based on the behavior of your partner. That is just unacceptable, period. So the reason I'm quite passionate about this discussion is that I've bore the brunt, unfairly, of someone else's anger. 
so this reminds me of a story so story time all right so this happened back in university i must have been in my second or third year if some of you remember from my previous story time i was at nast in Bulawayo, and i used to commute to and from school did not have a car i used to get one combi into town and a second combi to the university so one day i was in the second combi when i sat next to this guy Oh, he was gorgeous. Let's call him uh, John. John was one of those tall yellow guys, colored, colored looking, what, what. Very, very handsome guy. John was so cute. That is one of those guys, Kuti. Should you have a child with him and the child is ugly? You're to blame. It's not him. He's done his part. <laughs> you know, it's like, so anyway, I'm talking. sitting next to this hot guy. And you know, we're paying our money, what have you. Then we just got talking. He was like, hi. I was like, oh, hi, how are you? Where are you off to? No, I'm off to Nas Chi Chi Chi. And I found out that he was at the School of Mines. So we got talking, right? Then, you know, I was pretty sad when I had to get off the combi and leave him to carry on with his journey. But I was like, you know what? I will see him again in Jesus' name. And I did. <laughs> so eventually, after bumping each, into each other like a couple of times or so, we exchanged numbers, Facebook, and we started talking, blah, blah, blah. To be honest, guys, it wasn't that deep. Like, we would talk, hi, you know, you're so cute. What are you up to? How was school? Blah, blah, blah. PG stuff. Nothing X-rated at all. So I met John towards the end of second year when i was preparing to start my my attachment so for my third year which is the attachment year i went to harare i was working in harare then we continued to talk you know it was nice it was really nice and everything one day i'm at my aunt's house where i was staying it's around seven o'clock or something and i'm chilling minding my own business i think i'd been talking with john on facebook or something then i get a call from a number i don't know a private number i pick up because i'm nosy hello and it's this other girl on the other end of the phone then she says to me um is this melody dumb is a yes <laughs> i agreed so oh okay so you are that bitch called melody i'm like what excuse me oh my goodness guys the girl went off she was like ah so yeah the bitch who's messing with my man i was like what hold up hold up who's your man first sis let's get that clear first it's like hey i'm john's girlfriend what 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 we've been together seven years and do you think you can just walk in and take my man yeah <laughs> guys i got called all types of bitches i got insulted and to make matters worse she had a friend, a relative, whatever it is, another person hyping her up in the background. And I'm like, no, you don't understand. I'm not dating John. I'm not messing with him. We're friends. No, don't even try and act like that. I saw your messages on Facebook. I know that you've been texting my man. What, what, what? You guys, this girl went off. She yelled at me. Like if this incident had happened today and not in 20, was it 2010? Um, you'd have seen my video on the internet of me being shouted at. <laughs> anyway, uh, I got my yelling and my threats and she cut the phone. You know the threats, the usual threats, stay away from my man or else. I was like, oh, is that so? What do I do after the call? I dialed John's number and I'm like, hi John. He's like, what's up? I'm like, I just got a call from this girl called, let's call her Zinzi. This girl called Zinzi. And she was yelling at me. Trust me, those were crocodile tears. And he's like, oh, no, he's shocked because, you know, I'm, I talked to his girlfriend. And he's like, no, no, I'm sorry. No, you know what, me and this chick, now she's this chick. Me and this chick, you know, we're like on separation. I've been trying to break up with her. This is the reason why, you know, I've been trying to break up with her. She's crazy. <laughs> Fancy, she's crazy. You know, she always does stuff like that. If I talk to any girl, she always phones them. She always goes off the deep end. What, what? You know, I'm so sorry she hurt you, Mal. You know, I'm so sorry. I didn't mean for her to do that to you and me. I'm like, yeah. How could she do that to me? 
Because you know, guys, this was, I won't lie. Back in those days, I was very immature and very petty. I do not want John like that. Yes, he was cute and all that, but it wasn't, like I said, it wasn't that deep, right? But I was like, you know what? This chick is threatening me, telling me uh, to stay away from a guy I'm not even dating and two calling me all types of bitches. I want to teach a pet Zerana. So I decided to get petty. And I was like, you know what? Let the Hunger Games begin. So now this guy is comforting me, telling me how perfect I am and how crazy she is. And I'm like, yeah. And mind you, even after the call, I did not stop talking to John. Not because I wanted John, but because I was like, I'm going to fix you. Who are you? To act crazy, to rock up with that energy at me. And call me all types of bitches. No. So yeah, that's how we played out. This girl insulted me. Her man comforted me, told me she was crazy, and I continued talking to him, entertaining him up until the point where I felt like, I'm good. So when you attack another woman, be it on social media or in person over your partner's indiscretions, you are the loser in the whole thing. Not only are you the one who's been made a fool of, but you're the one who will end up looking like the villain when all is said and done. When the story is retold, you're the one who's going to look bad. And I'd like to guarantee you with like 99% certainty how this plays out. You catch your man cheating or you find out that your man is cheating. You snoop, find out the other girl's name. You and your friends do a little caucus. You gang up and you decide to go gangsterlicious on her. You troll on, on social media, you insult her, you do whatever, right? Or even go physically to her place and beat her up, whatever. Chances are, once you're done with your little escapade, this same woman you've been threatening and mishandling is going to call your man, the very same man you're trying to keep, that cheater. Yes, him. She's going to call him, and that man, I guarantee you, is going to comfort her. And you know one of the things he's gonna say, you're crazy. I know bango you. And he's gonna say, Oh, this I'm so unhappy because she's so crazy. She's so this and that. Even though you're the perfect, even if you're the perfect wife, the perfect girlfriend, the perfect partner. Do you understand? The narrative is gonna get flipped onto its back, and you are gonna look like the villain. So, what am I saying? Approach issues in a mature and direct manner. Woman up. So ladies, if you ever find yourself in this uncomfortable and really unfortunate position where your partner is being unfaithful and you happen to know with who, I'd recommend if you want to get your receipts, get your receipts. That's up to you. But I'm not an advocate. There's a story in the paper about a couple of years ago about a woman who killed her husband in front of their 11 year old daughter over messages she found on the phone she was snooping she found messages she didn't like she stabbed him in front of their child so the child basically has no parents left if you look for monkeys in a mountain you're gonna find them you're gonna find what you're looking for so anyway if you have a hunch or you find out that your partner is cheating on you sit down and have a conversation and in that conversation you need to enter that conversation Knowing what you want to do. A. Do you want to reconcile? Do you want to fix this? Or two. Do you want to dead the situation? Do you want to cut ties? Because it's one of the two. It's one that of That said, two. we have come to the end of our video. And mind you, today's video is the first installment on a series of entitled Toxic Behaviors. We're going to explore a bit more as we go along. So if you like this video, please comment down below and let me no i do not want to run in vain remember guys i leave my social media details in the description box below feel free to connect with me and um if you like this video like share comment subscribe and until the next time we meet somewhere